So the story about this is, right, I grew up with parts one and two. Uh, part one is shareware. Uh, these are made by Cliffy B, by the way. So they, are, they were made by a young Cliffy B in Visual Basic. So part one was shareware. I, I think my parents bought, like, a cheap, like, actual physical copy of it, and that's how I got it. Um, and I liked it so much that um, when we saw part two in the store, I got it. I never saw part three. So all I know about this is I saw screenshots and they were a lot um, redder. So I tried to stay away from it past that. I was like, okay, obviously there's shit going down. I don't want to. So this right here, part three will be blind. Parts one and two I've played. So we're going to jump into part one. Oh, that's quiet. I mean, it's already supposed to be quiet, but we'll wait until I get into it. Um, into the main screen before we figure out volume. It's a little low, though. This. So is that too quiet? Should I, I think I should bring that up, shouldn't I? Bring that up. Oop. Tab out of there. Something like that, I think. And no, we are not turning easy mode on, although I really like this feature. Um, it pretty much, it just shortens, like there are fewer puzzles and stuff to deal with. And it's just, it's an easier version of the game, like all the way around. I think more adventure games should do this. It is not my first time playing Dare to Dream. Um, okay, so we need, obviously you do pixel hunting and stuff in general in these games, but I need the underwear and the rubber, obviously. I, now, the thing is, I played easy mode a lot as a kid, too, so I get things kind of jumbled on the order. Um, by the way, you gotta like some of the suggestive uh, stuff in here. Oh, wait, where is it? I think it's single click? Or no, yeah, there you go. These cones are nothing compared to the ones in the window. See, see what it's referencing there? Um, Pier 69. Yeah, and see, this was Cliffy B as a kid. As like a, how old? I don't know how old he was. Uh, that's just pixel hunting. If you just double click here. There you go. I have, I have this rotting fish. So yeah, um, these don't do anything until you, I need the shotgun first. Spoilers. Crack cola. Um, don't think there's anything to do on this screen yet because I don't have. Can you? No, you can't yet until you. Pretty sure that's. Yeah. Um. For the heck of it, you stick the tail of the fish into the door and turn it, and voila! The door opens. How absurd. The, like... Okay. It's an adventure game. These are some uh, graphic-ass graphics, am I right? So, if you look here, you notice a small jar sits next to Boof. Buff. Boof. A spelling is boof, but like, come on. I... It's Clippy's dad. Where am I? In my bar. Where'd you think, Disneyland? He's he's funny. Is this a dream or what? This kid's brilliant. Actually, yes and no. You see, your overactive imagination is starting to come to life. You've got to put a cap on it or else something bad might happen. Are you for real? 
What a cement head. No, but if you don't control your dreams, I will be. Oh my god, it's a fucking threat. Um, this is like, this is, does part three end up being Freddy Krueger? Um, not to mention a lot of other characters, friendly and unfriendly. For, find, find a way, find a way to stop this from happening or he might come through. Is he Freddy Krueger? Bye. So, you know, don't, okay. Well, I relieved him of his jelly. So if you go to the inventory, you borrowed this industrial-sized jar of petroleum jelly. He's got a bar, and he's, yeah. He claimed it was for auto repair, but you wonder otherwise. On the back of the container reads, caution, do not use while operating heavy machinery. You wonder what it means by that. The things I didn't understand as a kid with this game, though, right? Um. Anyway. Let's take the fucking KY jelly, I guess, and lube this up so we can squeeze into this grate. Let's go into here. Oh, look, radioactive waste and stuff. And if I click here, the ooze burns your nostrils every second you were in here. Did I just get an update? What is my phone trying to tell me? Is it on my food? Okay, cool. It is, but it's still got a while. Um. Anyway, we've got some underwear here. These could be the stupidest pair of underwear you've ever seen. You've never been one to sniff underwear, but it smells April fresh. Alright, well, again. You carefully place the underwear on the ooze. Now, let me remind you, this is this is Cliffy B. Like, this is like the Cliffy B that did this game. Like. Like Cliff Blazinski is not nobody, right? Like, it's just this is just a look into. You step on the underwear to look inside the barrel, which reveals a shotgun! Okay. You take the shotgun from the barrel and sling it over your shoulder. Okay. We can't get inside this one either until we lube it up. But now we don't need to yet, do we? I don't remember the order of everything. Is it... So I need the skull from the pile. You pull the skull out from the pile. Strangely, the others remain in perfect place, strangely. More like, you know, you couldn't uh, be ours to... Uh, do more than pull, pull, take that graphic out of the image you had, which I understand. I understand. I've tried to make games. Shit's a lot of work. Um, I guess now we have the shotgun. Is it come over here? And shoot. Yeah. You blast the window out with the gun, hoping no one heard the shot. Something flies out of the smokestack and lands in the water. Something's in the water. Can't reach it, and there's no way you're going in the dirty water. Let's go talk to him again. There's something in the harbor I need to get. Do you have any fishing gear? Maybe. Why would I give it to you? I'll tell you why. My fucking shotgun. Well, sometimes you have to use force to get the things you want. Hastily hey, hands you his fishing gear. So now I, yeah. This, I played this as a kid. Yeah. Um. Well, it's nothing to write home about, but it gets the job done. You fish the object out of the water. Appears to be a small oxygen tank. You keep it. The tank may be coated with seaweed and the like, but the gauge shows it's completely full of oxygen. <laughs> Small. 
<laughs> so now we have this skull. The skull is flawless, almost as if it was cast in a sort of plaster. However, you flip it over and the dried blood on the back reveals it is genuine. Vandalize... Vandalize... Vandalization... I broke the glass. Okay. <laughs> you toss the skull at the window and it shatters it. Glass is razor sharp and could probably cut most anything. It's from the pane glass window on the front of Vinny's forest. Thank you for telling me that. I just obtained it from there. Um, there's also... There's... there's what are you drinking? Nantasset solution I mixed up just this morning. Had a long night last night, yes siree. What do you know about the other side of the sewers? Hmm, there's a windmill yonder. Beyond that, a chasm with one heck of a rickety bridge. Where though? Cause ain't that there windmill is one big flying rodent. Have you ever heard of Zone 66 or Solar Winds? Advertising! Of course, who hasn't? There are two unbelievable new games from that number uno shareware company, Epic Murder Games. See you later. Thanks, Ad... Ad Gator. <sighs> Alright. So. Food. Oh no, they'll be here any time according to this. See, I have the glass. There's also a f which flower? It's this one. Boom! Using a razor sharp glass, you cut the flower from the ground and pocket it. What is it with me in playing adventure games that involve you, uh, like either cutting or like obtaining like like plants? Let's see, I have a flower. There's a bat. You hold the flower up to the bat and it turns to stone. So... Is anyone following any of the logic, really? That's the thing about Dare to Dream. It's like... it. If you want to talk about moon logic, this is literally meant to be inside a dream. So it's like... It's all moon logic all the time. <laughs> Like, guess it was a wallflower. Sad bone. Yeah, I need to make that happen. Um, let's see, to the chasm. You can't maintain your balance on the bridge. You fall into the chasm below. The pond glows with a life of its own, almost as if there's much more to it. Those windmill blades sure are sharp shaped. Yeah, they are. Strange psychedelic mushrooms grow all around you. Better not eat one. Don't tell me how to live my life. If I see mushrooms I want, I'm gonna eat them. Alright. <laughs> I'm, I'm not <laughs> time to get crunk. The return is work. We, we did Molly, and now we're here with the mushrooms. I. It's, that's how it goes, I guess. See, oxygen should take care. You can use the oxygen tank to go under. Thanks! A small shell rests on the pond floor. Tiny eyes peer out of it. See, this art style... It, 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 it's my childhood because of this game. <laughs> Sexy eyes, shark. Do I know you? You look awfully familiar. Maybe. I don't know what voice to give this. I'm just no part of your mind. Like Boofer. Anyone else around here? You're dreaming, kiddo. How do I wake up? You need a special key to use on the gate. Where's the key? Just might know if you persuaded me with something I'd tell you. Bye. I've got fish. Got a fish fish. You had Prince, it's Prince. Prince? 
the fish, and he eats it eagerly. Holding up his end of the bargain, he hands you a strange key. Great sense of deja vu comes over you, and you examine this key. It is perfectly crafted. Flawless ceramic unicorn with a gold key coming out of its legs. Which actually, hold on. Oops, I did not mean that. Okay. Ah, where's that? Where's the box? Where's... Oh my god, it's there. And... Could have asked him how the fish was. Oh, wait, was that an option? Was it an option? No, it might have been. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to double check. Was it? Ah, oh, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not sure what... I don't know what's said. How was the fish? Smoking! <laughs> Too bad you don't have enough. Too bad you don't have another whatever voice I fucking get. I don't know. I'm just saying shit. Bye. Alright. <laughs> Smoking! So let's see what. Ah, damn it. I think now the inside of here changes. Yep. This is how it starts on easy mode in here, by the way. So. Now I can finally take this and get it aired up. And this guy just... Yep. Lovely. Um... So we now have this balloon. What could we do with a balloon? Oh! Use the overinflated balloon to float to the roof. Like you do. And... The door opens. If you do some pixel hunting, you'll find... You move the paper aside and read it. From Psalm 23, the Book of Psalms. It reads, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, thank you for that. And yeah, the cross is finally crafted from the best gold you've seen. However, it won't go around your neck. <laughs> you go to take some pistols and realize you'll have no use whatsoever for them. Oh. Why did I click that? I don't want to read all this. I'm not reading this. I'm not reading this. You guys can you guys can enjoy reading that right now. I'm not I don't I don't I don't even. I don't even know why I clicked it. There. Clock is going crazy. Okay. So what do we got? Guess we're pretty much ready to do the thing, aren't we? Pretty sure. Inventory. Cross. Double click. You hold the cross in the sunlight and the reflect refraction creates a pattern on the floor revealing a small portal. Look at that. Terry, what are you doing here? I'm not putting a voice to this. Just wandering around. Odd place, is it not? All these animals, buildings, and people. Is this a dream? It seems awfully real. I don't know. I think it is. But can I ask you what you're doing in my dream? Is it my dream or yours? I thought it was mine. Don't tell me you're not a figment of my imagination. You're dreaming this too? This is very weird. I hope I can find a way out of here soon. I'll call you when I wake up, okay? Bye. Inventory. Key. That's the game. That's, that's part one. You remain awake for the remainder of the night with a horrible feeling of being watched. The next day, Terry calls you over to show you something. He found something. I don't know what the exact wording was, but a ceramic unicorn key. So that's part one. Um, that was the shareware part. This is the this is the one that I don't remember. What did it cost? There it is. You can order each one for $15 or 30 
for all three games. Beware, this is no ordinary game. It contains dangerously high levels of suspension challenge. People who like boredom need not apply. So, yeah. I'm going to order right now. Let me see what the... Um yeah, I know, right? It's really for the other two, but I guess they give you a physical version of all of them. So, it's kind of... Kind of nice to have, like, the physical of it. Because you could have downloaded it from, like, a BBS or something, I suppose. Hey, Butt Satan, how's it going? And I guess my food is here, so... I will be back in a second. 